comes to the fore when we dream. What if we could see our dreams and study them? Could we know each other in a more profound way than ever before? During an average lifespan, a human being spends about six years dreaming. That's more than 52,000 hours of imagery buzzing through our unconscious brains. Computational neuroscientist Yuki Kamitani believes one day it will be possible to watch and record what people are dreaming. When that happens, we will all get to know ourselves on a much deeper level. I believe that if we can reconstruct or decode the contents of a dream, the identity is revealed. If we remember our dreams, it is often as a series of emotionally charged images. In fact, scientists have found that the visual cortex of a dreaming brain is highly active. Patterns of electrical activity wash over it, which makes Yuki wonder, can we learn to read those patterns and convert them into images on a computer? Brain activity can be seen as a code or an encrypted message about uh, what's going on in the visual world. The patterns of images we make in our brains are highly distorted. In the same way, a pair of shattered glasses distorts our view of the world. But if we collected data on hundreds of images seen through those shattered lenses, we could find a correspondence between the distorted images and the real ones. It might take a while, but if we gave that job to a powerful computer, it could decode the scrambled images into recognizable ones. And this is how Yuki tried to crack the code that turns images into patterns of activity in the visual cortex. We measure uh, the brain activity of human subjects, and we let the subject go into the scanner and scan their brain. And during that, we present some images to the subject, typically several hundreds or thousands of images in single experiment. The images Yuki shows people are simple black and white shapes, a square, a cross, a line. Using a powerful computer array, he records the precise pattern of activity in the visual cortex. After multiple trials with the same person, the computer learns to distinguish the patterns triggered by each image. In other words, the computer can judge purely from the brain activity which of the shapes the subject is looking at. And then, Yuki does something remarkable. He shows the subjects brand new images, images the computer has never seen, and lets the computer try to draw a picture of what the subjects are seeing. These are the images the computer reads inside people's brains. And these are the images they are actually looking at. This is the first time anyone has been able to know what people are seeing purely by looking at their brains. Looking at the uh, visual cortex, we have just succeeded in reconstructing seeing images. We are now trying to reconstruct imagined images or you know, images in your dreams. Yuki's method as yet only works on pixelated black and white images. But with a few more years of refinement, Yuki believes we will be able to record our dreams as full color high-definition movies. And that would truly be a window into our souls. Those, you know, unconscious aspects of our mind defines what we are and what the identity is. So I think if we can reveal some dream contents uh, which someone is not aware of, then that might reveal some deep uh, property of that person. Our true identity.